Hi, I'm Lee Buckner, your economics instructor. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about gross domestic product. Specifically, we're going to talk about what is included and excluded from the calculation of GDP, and then once it's calculated, how does that process typically happen? So first, defining gross domestic product. Gross domestic product, or GDP, is a measurement of the values produced within a country in a year. So when we're looking at GDP, we're only looking at new things that are made in a country in a year. So um, we're trying to measure the value of all the things made by all the workers. Uh, some things that are specifically excluded uh, when we calculate GDP are the sale of used things. So for example, if you bought a used car uh, in 2018, uh, and that car was made in 2013, that used car would have been counted in 2013's GDP, but not when you bought it as a used car in 2018. Uh, also excluded um, from GDP is going to be the sale of ownership of companies. I'm specifically talking about stocks. So if you go and you buy 100 shares of stocks and say Microsoft from somebody this year, uh, that's just transferring ownership. That's not actually creating uh, new products, that's not captured in GDP. What we are looking at, uh, looking at the making of new things in a, in a year, uh, typically breaks down into four categories. Uh, the first category of new products that are produced in a year is gonna be the biggest, it's consumption goods. Consumption goods are goods which are consumed by typical households. This is things like doctor's visits and cell phone services, economics classes, um, uh, buying food, right? Uh, buying gasoline for your car, buying a new car, uh, those sorts of products. When you look at GDP and break it down into its components, consumption is consistently the largest. Uh, most years, consumption uh, makes up about two thirds of GDP in the United States. The second component of GDP, when we're measuring the value of things that are made in our country every year, is going to be investment. Uh, investment is expenditures on products that businesses that use to make things in the future. The main example we're thinking about here is building new factories or buying new equipment for existing factories. So for example, if uh, a company were to spend $10 million building a new factory in 2018, and then for the next 20 years after that, that company used that factory to make stuff that they would later go on and sell, uh, the year that it built that factory, spent that $10 million, that would count towards investment component of GDP for that year. Third component uh, we will look at calculating GDP is government services, or the G in the C plus I plus G plus net exports. Uh, government is measuring the value of all goods and services provided by the government, and that could be federal, state, or local government. So when we think about what does the government provide in terms of goods and services, um, main thing is going to be healthcare, right? So uh, definitely the federal government, most state governments, and also some of the local governments uh, spend a lot of money providing healthcare services to citizens. Uh, another component thinking about is education. Uh, the federal government and most state governments and most local governments uh, spend a lot of money providing education, either K through 12 or supporting uh, preschool education and also supporting higher education. Um, and then also the government would include things uh, like providing roads and infrastructure, uh, police and fire services, the military, that's all captured in the government component of GDP. Typically, government winds up being about 30, 35% of GDP in a given year, so it's a very meaningful component. The last thing that we look at when we look at how we calculate GDP is NX, or X minus M. You might see it in your textbook slightly different, NX or X minus M. And that just means net exports. So when we calculate GDP using this uh, approach, the C plus I plus G, that's missing some stuff. It's missing first exports, right? So GDP is trying to measure how much stuff we make in our country in a given year. So if we make something here, but then it's shipped overseas to be consumed by somebody else, it wouldn't be captured in our measurement of consumption. 
So we want to add that back in. Those exports get added back in to our GDP calculation through this net exports calculation. Also, lots of the things we buy in this country are going to be produced outside of this country. So GDP is meant to measure how much stuff do we make in our country in a given year, but then we're calculating that value by measuring how much stuff do we buy. We've got to have a way to subtract out all of those imports. Again, imports meaning things that are made outside of this country, but consumed inside of this country. So for example, if you bought a television that was manufactured in China, but you bought it at a Best Buy in the United States, it's gonna be added into our consumption, but we wanna subtract it back out through this net export um, calculation. So those are your four big components when we go about calculating gross domestic product using the expenditure approach, C plus I plus G, plus that correction, net exports. And remember, whenever we're looking at GDP, it's trying to be a calculation of the value of all the products we produce within a con our country in a given year.